Good morning children. Welcome back to our Google Classroom. We have completed the first half of the poem, the ant and the cricket. Let's recall the important points which we have discussed. The ant and the cricket is a fable written in the form of a poem. What's a fable? A fable is a story in which animals as main characters and conveys a moral. Fables were first written by Aesop. This poem is also one of his collection. In this poem, the poet shows the contrasting attitudes of the ant and cricket. The ant is very hard working. On the other hand, the cricket is very lazy. Instead of collecting food for the winter season, he spent his time by singing and dancing throughout the summer and spring. So what happened? During winter, there was no food for him in his home. So, he decided to ask some food from the ant. He reached to the ant. We have completed up to this. We don't know whether the ant will give food to him or not. Let's continue the poem. Says the ant to the cricket, I'm your servant and friend. But we ants never borrow, we ants never lend. But tell me, dear cricket, did you lay nothing by when the weather was warm? Caught the cricket, not I. My heart was so light that I sang day and night, for all nature looked gay. New word, caught. It's an old English word for said. Let me explain these lines. The cricket asked some food and shelter to the ant. Hearing to the cricket, the ant answered that, it considered itself to be his servant as well as a friend. However, the ants never borrow anything from others, nor lend anything. Saying this, the ant asked the cricket, Why did it not gather anything when the weather was warm during spring and summer? Hearing to the ant, the cricket replied that its heart was so light that it was quite happy and did not care about the future. The cricket said that it kept singing day and night, that is, all the time as all nature looked happy. He thought that the beauty of spring and summer as well as the abundance of food and shelter will always remain there. He never cared about the future. So, what did the cricket say? The cricket said that, Instead of storing food for him, he spent his time by dancing and singing. You sang, sir, you say? Go then, says the ant, and dance the window away. Thus ending, he hastily lifted the wicket, and out of the door turned the poor little cricket. Folks call this a fable. I'll warrant it true. Some crickets have four legs, and some have two. New words, hastily, quickly, warrant, assure, fox, people. Let me explain these lines. Listening to the cricket, the ant told him that he was singing and enjoying during the spring and summer. Now, he should do the same and the window will go away. Saying this, the ant quickly lifted the door and pushed the cricket out of the door. In the last two lines, the poet says that Fox, that means people call the story of Ant and the cricket a fable. That means an untrue story. However, he thinks that the story is quite true because there are many crickets with four legs as well as with two. That means the four-legged cricket referred to the insects who do not care about future and the two-legged cricket referred to the human being who do not care about their future and repent when the time is gone. Through this poem, the poet shows the contrasting attitudes of the human beings also. The ant symbolizes a person who works hard. The cricket symbolizes a lazy man. The moral of this poem is Careful planning is essential as it ensures a secure future. I repeat, 
careful planning is essential as it ensures a secure future. So dear children, plan for your future and work hard. Then your life will be colorful and fruitful. A YouTube URL is attached. Watch it. A test paper is added. Submit the answers as soon as possible. Read the poem. We can meet in the next class. Thank you.